want to integrate our LDAP server, our Active Directory um, server, um, to FortiGate so that we can be able to um, authenticate users based on maybe their username and password or their domain uh, credentials. And uh, would um, we'll try and you know, uh, demonstrate active authentication using FortiGate, which means that before any users can have access to the internet, they need to use their username and password. Uh, they will type in the username and password on the browser uh, before they have access so that we can be able to see them, yeah, what they do, and have their uh, have visibility into the activity online. So we have the internal network here, and we have our AD server within the same um, network with the FortiGate. That means that whenever um, a user tries to reach FortiGate to have access to the internet, they'll contact the window, uh, the uh, LDAP server for credentials before they have access to the internet. So here's our AD uh, coming to uh, active users. We have some, some users within this um, AD, uh, which are Boali and Administrator. These are the two AD users we have, and we have different groups that they belong to as well, Wi-Fi and uh, Wi-Fi users and all that. So let's go to the FortiGate device. Um, let's log into our FortiGate device to integrate LDAP um, server. So logging into FortiGate device, coming to the dashboard. This is version 7.6.0, which is the latest version. Then you come to user and authentication, come to LDAP server, then create then name it um LDAP. the IP address uh, the server um IP address one nine two dot one six eight dot one hundred dot um one nine eight that's the IP address of our LDAP server we we'll leave this as as is then distinguished name uh that's our uh, domain um name uh dc equals dc equals cyber and dc equals uh um then uh regular we have cyber point no this is cyber point sorry cyber point backslash so we need a service account here that has a level of administrative right um, on our domain so that we can be able to integrate well so you can create a service account uh, for this purpose instead of using your administrator's username and password so let's test connectivity so we have connectivity as successful you can also test uh, user credentials to ensure that um, this is working administrator um, so let's test it so success so once this is successful that means that you've been able to successfully integrate your adapt server with the FortiGate device so everything has to be successful successful then after that what you want to do is to create user group uh, we want to create a user group so that you can be able to reference uh, the user group in the pol in the firewall policy uh, so that you can be able to use it to monitor users. They have to authenticate and all that. So let's create new. Go to user groups, then create new. Um, create, uh, let's say, uh, web internet users. Or let's give them a group name like um it users then leave it as firewall then come to remote group here then add um select other servers so this is our directory and uh, one of the things we want to do is to select the groups that we want to um you know add to the uh, user groups we are creating from the ad so we have this group, Wi-Fi users, and this. 
So I'm going to add this group. This group contains some of the users I've created on the Active Directory. So you right click and select. So it will show uh, that select um, sign before, uh, before the Wi-Fi. Then you click OK. So it will add the group to this uh, user group uh, bar and you can now click OK. So once you click OK, um, let's refresh this. So we have eight users here. So this is our LDAP uh, server group that we've created on Fortigate. So now we can now apply this to the firewall policy. If you look at this reference, you see that it's zero. That means that this has not been used in any um, place, in any uh, field in on the Fortigate device. So go to firewall policies, then create a firewall uh, new rule, then create IT users uh, to internet, uh, internet access. Then accept um, so your, uh, your schedule can be always, and you can play with this, but I will leave it as always. Type standard incoming income will be where your users are created uh, the interface which is global then outgoing is where they are going to which is the internet then um, source here will be um all and we can also also select um, from here select you will select um groups as well which is um one two three four it users Okay, um, okay, all the source has to be all. So the IT users are not in this place because this is version 7.6. So you have come to user group. So under user group, we have our IT, uh, IT user group. Yes, yeah? so you select IT user groups. Then um, we We'll play with all these security posture tags in the coming videos and all that. So we are dealing with uh, authentication now. So inspection mode all destination destination has to be all. That's everybody visiting the internet uh, space or internet resources. Then we have we have to put a NAT in mode here. Then um, if you want to also ensure that the security profiles are implemented on this policy, you can enable them, you can put it on um, default, uh, web featuring, um, block malicious sites, and just enable some of this. You can also put on the SSN inspection and um, log all sessions, enable this and click OK. So once this is done, so we need to put in our service as either all or HTTP or HTTPS. I leave it as all for now. Then click OK. So once you click OK, uh, so we move this policy from down to top. So now we have this on our policy. We have from internal uh, interface to external interface, public interface. Source is all, and on that source we have our IT groups. You see your reference elder servers and all that destination, all schedule, all always service, all accept. We have nothing also implemented. Our security profile is, uh, we ask web featuring um, SSL, featuring SSL inspection option uh, and various uh, profile implemented. Then we have it as login and all that. So what we want to do is to now check uh, whether this is working or not.